welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Seven Days to Die. It is episode six, and I am Nick from the Epic Film Guys, and we are headed into day six. And, of course, at the close of the last video, we sealed ourselves into the bank vault as night set forth in the town here. And, well, you know what? I'm just going to do some inventory management stuff and probably get rid of a couple of the things that I've got floating around the inventory that I don't want. Is that a zombie I hear? You hear the footsteps? It's not in the bank. At least it shouldn't be, because I cleared everything out of the bank. But then again, since sleepers respawn, a sleeper may have, you know, popped up somewhere in the bank, and I wouldn't know it. I definitely hear that, though. There's definitely footprints. I mean, I don't think anything's going to get in here to me, necessarily, but... You hear that? Something jumped. I don't think it's on the roof. Hmm. All right. Well, it's going to be a long night because, unfortunately, you know, I don't know where that is. Whether that's just outside the door, inside the bank, or hmm. This might not have been the best idea to seal myself in the bank fall. Imagine if those sleepers respawned in here, like right now. I got this tiny little room and they're going to be all running around feral because it's night. Yeah, that's like right outside. Just walking by, though. Sounds like they're walking by outside, maybe trying to jump over where the drive through thing is. Hopefully they will move on, because I wanted to actually keep working on getting into these bank vaults tonight. Does not look like that's going to be an option for me, though. Hmm. Yep. All right. Well, I'm not going to make everybody else suffer with me, so while I sit here and my nerves are racked, wondering what's going to happen to me here, uh, I will... Skip past all this part, and we'll just fade back in. Ooh. It's almost like they can hear me talking, you know? Like he's yelling at me, like, shut up! <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're just going to skip ahead to the morning, and, well, hopefully it will be an uneventful night, but he does not seem like he is going anywhere. He just seems maybe he's uh, sticking around the area here because... I keep hearing footsteps, so I'm guessing he respawned and is just wandering around either outside or on the roof or inside the bed. I don't know where he is, but I would guess he's probably outside since just to the left of me is the wall that goes to the outside. All right, so we will see you guys in the morning of day six. All right, good morning, everyone. And, uh, well, you can see I did at least punch a hole through to the roof with the ladder here. There's still a zombie outside. I heard a zombie corpse piece or some part of a leg or a head or something explode. I'm guessing the zombie hit a cactus. You can see I am starving. I actually just lost a point of health because I'm starving so bad. But we're in the plains here. The bank is actually in the plains, which means there are cacti outside. So I'm going to head outside and find myself a cactus I can go eat. I don't know where this zombie is. Or if it's just uh, zombies that have just been wandering through the area. Or what the case may be. But So yeah, there's nothing back here. I don't see any zombies anywhere. See if we can find any good stuff in these cars. Of course, nope. Still no wrenches or anything. But yeah, we're going to start whacking cacti like crazy so we can get some yucca. Because I need food, something fierce. That's well, actually one piece right now. At least stop the starvation. <laughs> oh, see, here's one. This might be the guy. It might have just been this crawler the whole night. I don't know. 
I ditched a bunch of stuff in one of the bank vaults that I opened. Actually, I only opened the one that you already saw me open. I was hoping maybe he would have something on him, but unfortunately he does not. Yeah, we're going to just wander around here for a little bit. I need... I mean, Yoka does not refill very much health-wise, so... Unfortunately, we just kind of have to make do. Here, make sure we don't see any stupid vultures or anything flying around out here. That's the last thing I need. I'm actually going to avoid any bird's nests for right now, only because I don't really need... Businessman. Yeah, goodbye. He probably had money on him. I think that's what these guys usually carry is money. Yeah, money's fine. I'll take money. And yeah, I don't... This will actually, if I destroy it, it'll just sit there as a backpack. So I gotta actually destroy that. Or remove it, I should say. Oh, that was your head. Sorry. I actually reduced all my animal fat that I had on me into torches, which I left in the bank vault, just to have some extra light here. I'm just going to leave that stuff here for now. We'll come back and we'll get it a little bit later. God, the game is... Uh, I do not know why it's doing this all of a sudden. The videos I've been recording have been recording fine without any issues. And now all of a sudden... We're getting some pretty horrible clipping and V lag. Hmm. Right, Sixteen Yoka. All right, now it is morning of day six. Out, out, out. I know animal fan is good. We need it for things, but I don't even want all the all the plant fibers I'm getting with all of this crap. I don't even want that stuff. Be nice if I could find just some food in one of these stupid containers. Hey, scavenging's level 16 already. But you think I can find a friggin' wrench anywhere? Nope. guessing this should be enough so just kind of nice that that happens to be right here we may as well plow all the way through all this Is that a zombie or was that something else? Oh, goddamn snake! These things are a pain. Oh, he's dead. Okay, so now we can, at the very least, chop them apart and get well, a little bit of stuff. Not much. But they actually do give you a little bit of meat, it, it, especially if you manage to kill them. Yeah, if you manage to kill them without uh, then whacking them like halfway apart, because I you never they, they're still moving, so you never really quite know when they're dead. So you just kind of keep smacking them, and then yeah, you end up one more club hit, and it's already half disintegrated on the ground. But that's okay. We're not too concerned. This must have been uh, zombies that I killed before. I don't... I mean... It's not like this stuff isn't important. It's not like I don't need it, sort of. But, I mean, I just need the inventory space for more important things. 
I've still got more stuff I want to explore in the city before I piece the hell out of here. I think I do have more meat. I think I left it in the bank vault. Good place for meat, I guess. Not need paper. Come on. <sighs> well, I guess I'll take a guard. Oh, I don't have one yet, so. That might be all of those little iron plates. I like smacking all those up off the ground too. Oh no, we got two more back here. I did take the steel smithing perk in the night, and I also took the armor crafting perk. I took the first level of it because I hadn't started that yet. So I whipped myself up some cloth armor. That's how I got rid of some of the stuff I was carrying, the duct tape and things like that. Made some uh, cloth armor, some some chest armor, some leg armor, and some cloth boots. I had some running shoes on that were kind of crappy, so just got rid of those. All right. Let's see, here's our here's our entrance. We'll eventually get rid of all the rest of this. And, oh, there we go. Might as well take that. Oh, don't need. Get out of here. Maybe. Ooh. Yeah, we'll leave that meat here. These pistol parts, it's not that I don't want them. It's just, you know, they're kind of useless because I don't have a pistol recipe right now. Those will definitely keep. I hate these plant fibers, but, I mean, yeah, it's kind of a good amount of them, so I don't want to get rid of them. All right, we are going to buzz through uh, as many of these as we can. I mean, our, unfortunately, I used the rest of that iron the forged iron that I had repairing the pickaxe and stuff so I could get out of here. I also used the hammer a little bit just to upgrade my construction tools. But All right, I'm going to chip through and try to open as many of these vaults as I can, see what we can find, and then we'll be back after this. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, and I know we went on an extended uh, fast forward there, so I do apologize, but well, yeah. Had to fight a horde, had to do this, had to do that. We've got a whole bunch, whole bunch of crap here, and we got a whole bunch more crap in the bank vault that I can't carry back to my main base. And now, unfortunately, we're getting to the point where... God, another vulture. Jesus, these things are persistent. Let me just try to keep fucking running. Was that another one over there? There's two. Oh, God, no, we cannot deal with two, let alone of one. See, I don't think they can path correctly to get to you if you kind of keep moving. So, well, this one's kind of zooming straight after me. I do not like these things whatsoever. God, these things are nasty. Yeah, that one's dead. All right, so come here. Come here. Come on. And I got this. I, my my, my uh, club is good enough now where... It's barred. I want to get a spiked club. I haven't found a schematic for it yet. You see, I did find some gun schematics there. When we were back in the bank vault, I found a shotgun schematic. Well, no, that was at the gas station. I found a hunting rifle schematic. Uh, and I just found some gun parts. Nothing I can really concretely put together that I can actually use. And then I would normally hunt this stag, but... I would normally hunt this stag, so I'm going to. <laughs> oh, he died anyway. Good. I just saw... I was going to say, I just saw another vulture. We may as well... We always need meat. I just hope I can get the hell out of here without having to fight this guy. I don't know if I'm going to have time to come back here before the next horde. Or before the horde, I should say. Not even the next one. We're almost out of stamina. We're getting kind of overheated a little bit. I don't know where that vulture went. They just do a lot of damage. And more often than not, they'll cause you to bleed out. So they can get kind of irritating when they when they come in. I mean, I, I need a shotgun. Like, a shotgun would be perfect for these guys. But I, I'm not going to take up any more of your time today. So for now, we're going to just beeline back to the main base. And then the next episode or two, I may just do a live stream tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. I may just do a live stream of it. But uh, basically, from here on out, once I get back to the main base, we are all about Horde Night prep. And I do believe I am actually going to run Horde Night at my base. I'm not... 100% sure how it's going to work out for me just yet. Or there is also another POI. There's also another house like across the way from me. So I may go over there and I may just shore that one up real quick and fortify it and run the Horde Knight from there because I really don't care if that POI gets destroyed. That's the only thing that kind of worries me is like I've got that mining operation going at that other base now and things like that. So in the meantime, until next time, please like, please share, please subscribe. Thank you very, very much for watching and cheers.